Okay, kiddos, um, welcome to Have Another. Uh, today, I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. That's why I have the stupid camera angle going. Today, we're going to use the bottling wand. Now, I have to be a little bit careful because I've got um, right shoulder impingement syndrome, which is no fun. They'll make you go to physical therapy. It's terrible. Okay, so... So the first thing, some of this is going to be hard to see and I can't really move the camera, but I'm hoping you can see this is um, a different nozzle. Mr. Beer sells it, of course, and it might be coming with the kits now, I don't know, but it's a different nozzle than that traditional one where you just flip the top, kind of, and it's got like a wide opening. Instead, this has a small nozzle on it and it's got like a, a bevel. And the reason for it is that you can take this connector piece and it will stick up on there and it will stay put. So you won't have the problems that you had maybe with that. You know, the old one used to try to put this inside thing and it would stay and it didn't really stay. It wasn't worth Some people would work for it, some people wouldn't. Um, or some people some people came up with different ways to, to fix it, maybe heat it up and, or whatever. But anyways, you don't have to do any of that if you have this nozzle. So this is an on-off no nozzle. It turns like, um, it turns to the left. Um, so right is off, left is on. So what I'm going to do is I have the, um, this is it, this is the, the uh, bottling wand. On the bottom there's a tip, and when this tip gets pressed in, if there's any liquid in here, it comes out. So that what you do is you put the bottle in, and all the stuff has been sanitized. Now we got Mr. Beer's M&B Cream Soda Ale going. So what happens is the bottle comes in, it pushes on this, and the bottle fills up. It's nice and easy. Um, underneath here, I do have a tray. You'll get a little drippage, just a little bit. Um, so I do have a, a mini uh, cookie sheet with some paper towel on it, just so it's not all over the floor. Um, so anyway, so, but it's it's just like a little, it's just but it's just easier than to pick it up. So we have the bottling wand, and then we have the adapter, which this is all comes in the same kit, bottling wand kit. I highly recommend it. What you got to do is you got to take the the uh, adapter. I take this all apart when I'm done, and I sanitize it, and I, you know, I wash it, and just water and um, and uh, and um, some soap that has no scent to it. And so there you go. So it's just attached to the end like so. Get it on there, good. And then this part, the other part of the extension, this is why I need the extension, is it goes right over, kind of like the um, the nipple to the saw. Uh, here to this part and once you get it there you can see once it gets over I don't think it to be perfectly over but push it takes a little bit of a little bit of pushing a little bit of effort but once you get that on there it's on yeah that's nice and good so so this tap um, it fits it perfectly so it's not like the old one now as you can see here this is hanging down it's clear and then what you can do is you just turn on your beer tab and this is why this one's also better um, and as you do that if this works right you'll you probably can see this it's brown now the beer actually just stays right here in this the whole time so you just leave this on you don't have to turn it off turn it on turn it off turn it on and then let's just do a couple. So you take your Mr. Beer bottle. This is the standard issue beer bottle. It has a little bit of sanitizer left in it. Um, 750 milliliters. I don't know. Maybe these are the... I never know. I have both. I've got like the standard ones and then I've got like the um, the slightly stronger ones. They both work great. Um, but I got a good deal on these when Mr. Beer, Mr. beer always has, you know, sales. Hit them up when they get a sale. All right. So then, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the bottle and want. We're going to take the bottle. Now, this all has been sanitized. I can't say that enough. Bottle sanitized, wand sanitized, everything sanitized. Go ahead and push that right there. So what I'm doing is that part that I showed you, that like little spring thing, I just push the bottle up against it, and the beer is now flowing freely. It's not quite as fast as if you do it yourself, like by just opening it, but it's a lot more precise, and it's a lot easier. Um, I'm going to do 10 or 11 of these. Um, and just makes your life really easy. You are going to get a little bit of drips when you pour it over because, you know, like this is in the bottle, so there's some beer on the, the wand. It'll drip down. So just put something. I use a small cookie sheet with some paper towel. And then you just fill it up as much as you want. Now, the one thing when you fill it up, you got to, um, 
compensate you like you've got to remember that this is in here so it raises the level a little bit more so I'm like right about there I'm pretty good with that so I'm gonna put this one aside I'll be putting my sugar in afterwards and then uh, you know to for the carbonation process so let's try another one and this is all you have to do you just pull this right up it pushes up against it beer starts flowing this is great it is so much easier it's cleaner it's simpler um, and I, I can't recommend it enough and it's not expensive you know you get this this spigot which is a better spigot anyways um, I don't know they might maybe they ship anything with them I don't know that's so hey if any of the mr. beer people are watching are you shipping now with the spigot or do you have to order it if you have to order it, it's only a couple bucks not a big deal I think like this kits only like 10 um, or maybe less I don't know see and then you really have control over how much perfect again maybe a little more because I was talking but there you go so that one's full and then you just go on to the next one couldn't be easier than this here we go right back up and then I just got to put my sugar in there um, I do my own sugar um, if they send me the carbonation drops I use them they work great um, but you can save some money just um, using table sugar so I save some money um, it is uh, for this size a 750 liter bottle it's two teaspoons so I got myself a nice metal teaspoon that I can um, sanitize I leave it in the sanitization solution for like five minutes and then I take it out and I let it dry so the sugar doesn't stick to it and I have a funnel too that I, that I can use to put in I'll show you that in a second there we go I mean this really honestly this is as easy as it gets folks um, we'll do one more let's see me do all ten probably already done too many um, and then so you just you know I'm not even really paying attention I'm, it, it, it is it's just such a nice even flow that, that you know I can talk to you guys and hang out and um, yeah so here we go it's filling up no leaks here or anything as long as you get it nice and cl closed uh, you know like I said you have to give it a little push but um, nice and easy there's a slight bit of drippage that gets down there a very slight I'm uh, talking about you know the the paper towel has it no problem I'll show you in a minute all right so we got that one that's good and this is just so easy so okay so this is like so you, you might have just saw a drip like because this is actually in the beer but this is this is all that's done to the paper towel so it's not like we're not talking about a lot now um, get yourself a funnel too I also this is how I do my sugar um, now if you're using the carbonation drops which really is the easiest way and the, the surest way to get a good result um, you obviously don't need this just put two carbonation drops and you're done but you want to save a little bit of money uh, and like I said whenever I get whenever I buy a kit or set and it comes with the carbonation drops I use them and I get great results but you get the same results with sugar regular table sugar I have this uh, this has like a little hook this is actually so if you're pouring beer into beer or something it won't foam um, that doesn't matter just any any funnel that fits nicely is fine um, I let it get good and dry two teaspoons for each bottle then I you know put on the top and then I kind of go like this I just turn them over once or twice to mix in the sugar um, as per the instructions I don't shake them and um, I put the bottle caps on them and in two weeks I've got a great beer um, there will be a taste test video so until then cheers